Let's talk about leg cramps. The sudden excruciating muscle contractions that feel like your leg is punishing you for no reason. You know the ones. You're lying in bed, drifting off to sleep, and then out of nowhere. BAM! Your calf seizes up like it's got a mind of its own. You jolt awake, gasping, grabbing your leg like it's been hit by lightning. And if you have diabetes, these cramps might not just be random. They could be a direct result of what's happening inside your body. So what exactly is going on? Why does diabetes make leg cramps worse? And most importantly, how do you stop them? First up, circulation problems, or more specifically, your blood flow going on strike. Diabetes has a way of messing with your blood vessels, especially in your legs and feet. It's called peripheral artery disease, or PAD. Fancy name, but all it means is that your blood vessels have become narrowed and weak, making it harder for oxygen-rich blood to get where it needs to go. And when your muscles don't get enough oxygen, they cramp up. Simple as that. This is why people with diabetes often feel pain or tightness in their legs after even short walks. It's not just that you're out of shape. Your muscles are literally running out of fuel. And nighttime makes it worse. When you're lying still, blood flow slows down even more, making those late night cramps even more likely. It's like your legs wait until you're finally comfortable just to ruin your night. But it's not just about discomfort. PAD isn't something you want to ignore. If it gets bad enough, it can lead to wounds that won't heal properly. Increased risk of infections, in extreme cases, amputations. Yeah, I know, that escalated quickly. But this is why taking care of circulation issues is so important. If your leg cramps are getting worse, it's worth checking if poor circulation is the culprit. Next up, nerve damage. Otherwise known as diabetic neuropathy, or as I like to call it, your nerves deciding to mess with you for no reason. Here's how it works. Your nerves are supposed to send messages between your brain and muscles, telling them when to contract and when to relax. But when high blood sugar damages these nerves, those messages get scrambled. Sometimes your nerves go completely silent, leaving you with numbness or tingling in your legs and feet. Other times they send out random, chaotic signals, causing your muscles to spasm, twitch, or cramp up like they're staging a protest. This is why some people with diabetes don't just get leg cramps, they also feel burning sensations in their feet, tingling like their skin is crawling, total numbness, making it easy to miss injuries. And here's the scary part. Neuropathy can make even minor injuries dangerous because you might not feel them right away. A small cut or sore on your foot can go unnoticed until it becomes a serious problem. If your cramps feel like they come with tingling, burning, or numbness, neuropathy might be your main issue. And if that's the case, it's time to get serious about blood sugar control before things get worse. Now let's talk about electrolytes, or more specifically, what happens when you don't have enough of them. Your muscles rely on magnesium, potassium, and calcium to function properly. These minerals are like tiny traffic controllers telling your muscles when to contract and when to relax. But if you're running low, chaos, absolute chaos, low magnesium, your muscles stay tense and cramp up easily. Low potassium, your muscles become twitchy and prone to spasms. Low calcium, your muscles start locking up like an old car engine. And guess what? Diabetes is notorious for draining these minerals from your system. High blood sugar makes you pee more, and every time you go, you're flushing out essential minerals. Certain medications like diuretics strip your body of potassium and magnesium, leaving your muscles struggling to function. Not eating the right foods? Your body has nothing to work with and your muscles pay the price. Ever wake up with a cramp so bad you have to physically get out of bed and stretch? That's your body screaming for electrolytes. Even mild dehydration can make your cramps 10 times worse. But here's the problem. If you have diabetes, you're probably more dehydrated than you think. Why? Because high blood sugar pulls water out of your system and sends it straight to your bladder. You might not even feel thirsty, but your muscles are secretly begging for hydration. So how do you know if you're dehydrated? Here are some signs. Your pee is dark yellow. It should be light like lemonade. 
You feel tired or sluggish for no reason. You get frequent headaches. You're waking up with leg cramps at night. If any of this sounds familiar, you need more water. Yesterday. Now this one might come as a surprise. Some of the medications you take every day might actually be making your leg cramps worse. The biggest culprits? Statins, used to lower cholesterol. These are notorious for causing muscle pain and cramping in some people. Diuretics, water pills used for blood pressure. These flush out potassium and magnesium, which your muscles desperately need. Certain diabetes meds. Some medications can mess with electrolyte balance or cause muscle-related side effects. If your leg cramp started after switching medications, that's a big clue. Talk to your doctor. There may be a better option that doesn't leave your legs feeling like they just ran a marathon. Now that we know what's causing the cramps, we need to talk about how to stop them. Because let's be honest, you can't keep living like this. Up next, we'll go over the best foods to stop leg cramps for good. Easy lifestyle changes to improve circulation and hydration. The one bedtime routine that can make a huge difference. Stay tuned. Your legs will thank you. Let's talk about how to stop them. Because waking up in agony every night? Not exactly the life goal. The first step? Fixing your nutrition. Because what you eat plays a huge role in whether your muscles decide to behave or launch a full-scale rebellion at 3 a.m. Magnesium, the muscle relaxer. Let's start with magnesium, one of the most important minerals for keeping your muscles relaxed and cramp-free. Without enough magnesium, your muscles stay tense and twitchy, just waiting for the perfect moment to ruin your night. And guess what? Most people with diabetes are low on magnesium. So, where do you get it? Spinach and Swiss chard. Dark leafy greens are loaded with magnesium and also help keep blood sugar stable. Pumpkin seeds, one of the best sources of magnesium out there. Just a handful a day can help keep your muscles from locking up. Almonds and cashews, crunchy, delicious, and packed with magnesium. Avocados, not only do they have magnesium, but they also contain potassium, another essential mineral for muscle health. Dark chocolate, 70% plus cocoa. Yes, chocolate, but the real kind, not the sugary junk. Studies show that people who increase their magnesium intake experience fewer muscle cramps and better nerve function. And for people with diabetes, getting more magnesium can also help improve blood sugar control. Potassium, the muscle balancer. Potassium helps your muscles contract and relax properly. Without enough of it, your nerves start misfiring and your muscles become extra twitchy. Most people immediately think of bananas, but there are way better sources of potassium. Avocados. Yes, again, avocados are basically a superfood for your muscles. Sweet potatoes. They're packed with potassium, fiber, and slow digesting carbs that won't spike your blood sugar. Spinach gives you both potassium and magnesium in one shot. Oranges. If you're watching sugar intake, eat the whole fruit instead of drinking juice. Beans, black beans, kidney beans, lentils, all loaded with potassium and fiber. Calcium, the muscle stabilizer. Calcium does more than just keep your bones strong. It also plays a huge role in muscle contractions. Without enough calcium, your muscles start locking up like a rusted door hinge. Best sources, Greek yogurt packed with calcium and protein, which also helps stabilize blood sugar. Leafy greens, kale, collard greens, bok choy. If dairy isn't your thing, these are a great alternative. Almonds, another double duty food, giving you both calcium and magnesium. Canned salmon with bones. The bones are where all the calcium is and they're soft enough to eat. Hydration, because your muscles are thirsty, even if you eat all the right foods, if you're dehydrated, your muscles will still cramp up. And here's the thing. Most people with diabetes are low-key dehydrated all the time. High blood sugar makes you pee more, which means you're losing more fluids than you realize. And when your muscles don't have enough water, they cramp. So what's the fix? Drink more water. And if plain water isn't your thing, try watermelon. 
over 90% water and packed with electrolytes. Cucumbers, one of the most hydrating foods out there. Oranges and bell peppers. Hydration plus nutrients equals a win-win. Celery, loaded with natural salts and water to help your body retain fluids. If you're waking up with cramps, it's probably because your body is begging for more water. Anti-inflammatory foods, because inflammation makes everything worse. Chronic inflammation can make muscle cramps worse. If your body is constantly inflamed, your nerves become more sensitive, your blood vessels don't work as well, and your muscles recover slower than they should. Certain foods can help reduce inflammation and protect your nerves from further damage. Salmon and walnuts, both packed with omega-3 fatty acids which help reduce nerve pain. Blueberries, their deep blue color comes from powerful antioxidants that fight inflammation. Turmeric contains curcumin, one of the strongest natural anti-inflammatory compounds. Chia seeds, loaded with omega-3s and fiber to help keep inflammation in check. By making these foods a regular part of your diet, you can cut down on cramping, reduce nerve pain, and improve circulation. Other things you can do to stop leg cramps. Food is important, but lifestyle changes matter too. If you want to stop leg cramps for good, you need to stretch before bed. A simple calf stretch before bed can make a huge difference. Stand facing a wall, put one foot behind you and press your heel into the ground. Hold for 30 seconds, then switch legs. If you're dealing with frequent cramps, do this twice a day, once in the morning and again before bed. Massage your legs. Massaging your legs before bed improves circulation and helps prevent cramps from happening in the first place. You can use your hands, a foam roller, a massage gun. Anything that stimulates blood flow and loosens up the muscles will help. Take a warm bath before bed. A warm bath relaxes your muscles and boosts circulation. Adding Epsom salts gives you an extra dose of magnesium, which can further help with cramping. Check your shoes. If your shoes don't have proper support, your leg muscles will work overtime just to keep you balanced. And overworked muscles equals more cramps. If you're on your feet a lot, invest in shoes that actually support your arch and ankle. Check your medications. If your cramps started after switching medications, that's a sign that your meds might be making things worse. Talk to your doctor. There may be better options that don't leave your legs feeling like they ran a marathon. What's next? Now that you know how to fix leg cramps with food and lifestyle changes, let's go over the one bedtime routine that can make a massive difference. Because sometimes, just a few small changes before bed can stop cramps completely. Stay tuned for the final part. You don't want to miss this. All right, now that we've covered why leg cramps happen and how to fix them with diet and hydration, let's talk about your bedtime routine. Because sometimes what you do before bed can make or break your chances of waking up cramp-free. The ultimate bedtime routine to prevent leg cramps. If you want to stop waking up in pain, here's a simple routine you can follow before bed. 1. Stretch for 5 minutes I know, I know, stretching isn't exciting, but trust me, this is one of the easiest ways to prevent cramps before they even start. Try this routine before bed. Calf stretch, stand facing a wall, place one foot behind you and push your heel into the ground. Hold for 30 seconds, then switch legs. Hamstring stretch Sit on the edge of your bed, extend one leg straight, and reach for your toes. Hold for 30 seconds, then switch. Ankle rolls. Sit on your bed and slowly rotate your ankles in circles. Do 10 rotations clockwise, then 10 counterclockwise. Doing these stretches right before bed helps loosen up your muscles and improve circulation, making nighttime cramps way less likely. 2. Drink water, but not too much. Hydration is key, but the last thing you want is to wake up for a bathroom trip every hour. Here's the trick. Sip water throughout the evening instead of chugging a full glass right before bed. 
If you find that drinking water at night makes you wake up too much, try eating hydrating foods with dinner instead. Cucumber, watermelon, and oranges are great options. 3. Massage your legs before sleep. This one is simple but powerful. A quick leg massage before bed helps improve circulation and can prevent cramps from sneaking up on you at night. You can use your hands, a foam roller, a massage gun. If your calves are especially prone to cramping, focus on gently kneading the muscles for a couple of minutes before bed. Bonus tip, try using magnesium lotion. Applying magnesium directly to your skin before bed can help relax your muscles even more. 4. Take a warm bath or shower. Warm water relaxes your muscles and boosts circulation, which is exactly what you need before bed. If you really want to level up your nighttime routine, add Epsom salts to your bath. They contain magnesium sulfate, which can help prevent cramps. 5. Keep your feet warm. Ever notice that leg cramps are worse when your feet are cold? That's because cold muscles contract more easily, making cramping way more likely. If your bedroom tends to be chilly at night, try wearing light socks or using a heating pad on your feet before bed. 6. Elevate your legs. This one's a game changer for people with poor circulation. Before bed, prop your legs up on a couple of pillows for 10 to 15 minutes. This helps encourage blood flow and can reduce the chances of cramping. If you sleep on your back, try keeping a small pillow under your calves to keep your legs slightly elevated. What to do if you wake up with a cramp? Even with the best routine, sometimes cramps still happen. When they do, here's how to get rid of them as fast as possible. 1. Don't panic. Breathe through it. The first instinct when a cramp hits? Panic but freaking out can actually make the cramp worse. Instead, take deep breaths and focus on relaxing the muscle. The pain will pass faster if you stay calm. Two, stretch the cramped muscle. If your calf cramps, try this. Stand up and put your weight on the cramped leg. Press your heel into the ground and gently stretch the muscle. If standing is too painful, sit down and pull your toes toward you to stretch the calf. For a hamstring cramp, sit on the floor with the cramped leg extended. Lean forward and reach for your toes, keeping your leg straight. For a foot cramp, press your foot against the floor and apply gentle pressure. If that doesn't work, massage the arch of your foot while flexing your toes upward. 3. Massage the area. Once the worst part of the cramp has passed, Gently massage the muscle to encourage blood flow and prevent another cramp from sneaking up. If your leg still feels tight afterward, apply heat with a warm towel or heating pad. How long does it take to stop leg cramps for good? If you start making changes today, you might notice a difference within a few days. Drinking more water? Cramps could improve within 24 hours. Adding magnesium-rich foods? You'll start seeing results in about a week. Stretching before bed? you might stop cramping within a few nights. But if your cramps aren't improving or if they're getting worse, it might be time to check in with your doctor. When should you be concerned? Most leg cramps are harmless, but sometimes they can be a sign of a bigger issue. See a doctor if cramps are happening daily and don't improve with lifestyle changes. The pain is severe and lingers for hours after the cramp stops. You notice swelling, redness, or skin changes in your legs. Your cramps started after changing medications. These could be signs of circulation problems, nerve issues, or an underlying medical condition that needs attention. Final thoughts. Leg cramps don't have to control your life. By focusing on the right foods, more magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Better hydration, more water, less dehydration. A solid bedtime routine, stretching, massages, warm baths, listening to your body, fixing circulation and nerve health. You can finally get relief and stop waking up in pain every night. Try these tips, stick with them, and in a few weeks you could be cramp-free for good.